Cardi B is a perfect example of what happens when astrological timing just pops the fuck off. The stars never lie, you all. I don't know how many times to say this. Not only are we in Libra season, she's a fucking Libra. Not only is Mars in Cancer, she has her Mars in Cancer. Not only is Venus in Scorpio, she has her Venus in Scorpio. Not only do we have the North Node in Aries, her moon is in Aries. And we have a solar eclipse happening in Libra. This fucking week, I feel like she is truly, like, she really is in her element right now. Like, it's actually crazy. Wow. Um, truly, I've never seen someone embody the astrological energy. I've honestly never seen someone so perfectly embody a cosmic event. You know what I mean? She literally is this eclipse in Libra personified. Like, if this eclipse, like, this week was a person, it would be Cardi B. She is the poster child of this eclipse. And honestly, she's, a, like, the, like, the energy, like, this is what's going to be happening really for the Libras across the board, but also just, like, for the cardinal signs, like... This is very much a time where the cardinal signs are speaking on their shit, right? This is not an energy where people are going to be, like, walking on fucking eggshells. Like, it's very much kind of like, what do you have to lose? You're tired of, like, holding back. You're tired of... And you're tired, like, especially the cardinal signs, like, they're tired of holding themselves back. Like, and for what? To make other people more comfortable? I think the fuck not. Uh, and it's such an empower empowering time. And quite frankly, when a Libra's doing this, like a Libra of all people, you know that they've been sitting on this shit for a long ass time. Like when you've pushed a Libra to the point, and especially also the Aries as well, her Aries moon and the Aries north node we've got happening right now. I mean, it's, it's like, we really need to be careful. Like, be careful who the fuck you're pissing off. You know what I mean? Be careful. Like, don't be trifling. Don't be playing games in people's face. And then think they're not going to retaliate. This is such a great time for the cardinal signs to be rebranding. Cardinal signs for the next couple of months until really November, you have an opportunity to do a major rebranding and major reinventing of yourself. Cardi, and let me just clarify, it's not even about Offset. Like, this is about Cardi specifically. This is about, she's doing this for herself. She's reclaiming her power and getting her power and vitality and energy back. And you know that time, and this isn't just for cardinal signs, but I would say this is something I've noticed with the cardinal signs especially, but really just across the board. When you finally get out of a toxic situation, because I would say especially like Libra, Aries, um, Scorpios for sure, her Venus and Scorpio, like these signs are the ones that will absolutely ride a relationship until the wheels fall off. Like, period. And when you finally exit that toxic relationship or whatever the situation is, and your energy just bounces back to you, it's like when you, especially this is such a clear thing for Libras, they will stretch themselves so thin. And when they finally release that attachment, it's kind of like the stretched rubber band finally snapping back. And so I just feel like we are witnessing her just getting all of her energy back. And she's just getting this, like, newfound, like, glow up. Like, her styling for Paris Fashion Week has been absolutely immaculate. This is, honestly, it's only up from here. So, cardinal signs, Aries, Libra, Capricorn, Cancer. I want all of you all to take some motherfucking notes. Take some motherfucking notes from Miss Cordy B. She really is, and especially she has her Mars in Cancer, so she's, ex she's experiencing her Mars return as well. This is such a great time for the Cancer placements as well to really reclaim their energy, reclaim their power, find that empowerment through this kind of like, she is like the embodiment of that kind of like when, when a woman decides to step into her dark feminine energy, which I think that can mean different things to different people. But to me, it's really much that I will not be tamed. I will not be silenced. It's very much that I will not be kept down. Like, you cannot shackle me. 
I am breaking free, that type of vibe. And honestly, just across the board, it's just giving, like, this is just what happens when a Libra stops giving a fuck. It's very much like that, bitch. Like, and it takes them a while to get to that point. But when they get to that point, you're done you're done and it's going to be an incredible performance like there's something very dramatic about the sign of scorpio there's something very theatrical i personally believe her to be a leo rising not necessarily an aries rising which is something that is not confirmed there's something regardless of her rising sign there is something innately dramatic and theatrical about the sign of scorpio when a scorpio goes out they're going out with a fucking bang a scorpio makes a dramatic exit period her venus in scorpio is so loud and i think we're all just really resonating with it because it's perfectly aligned with venus currently being in scorpio ruling this eclipse like period I am eating it up. I'm gobbling it up. It feels so refreshing. This is so refreshing for her. I feel like she knows that this is a new era for her. This is going to be a week that begins new eras for really all of the cardinal signs. I think it's going to be very, very good. And I think it's going to include a lot more of the Libras. Not only just Libras in general with the South Node on their sign, right? A lot of the Libras are just shedding a lot of layers. They're shedding a lot of their old identity. And they're reforming and restructuring their identity. Cardi is a great example of someone who is doing it so authentically. And I think she is in a very good, like she's going in a great direction. Period. Love to see it. Okay, period. Bye.